Heyo, what's up guys? It's Plan B back here in KSP, and as you can see today, we already have a rocket on the launch pad. We're going back to the MUN to refuel our spaceport. Um, if you guys enjoy these videos, please like. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, I enjoy making these KSP videos, please subscribe and get those notifications so you can catch more of these videos when I release them. But, going on to the actual rocket here that's already about 10,000 kilometers up in, uh, 10,000 meters into the air. Uh, this is the same rocket that I used to propel the actual spaceport into orbit and then out over to the MUN, so nothing too crazy with that. The exciting part is the payload in this, which should come clear in a second from those fairings, and it is a refuel tank, the S3-14400 uh, fuel tank, plus two adapters that have just a little bit of fuel in them as well. Um, I actually I got a little cheeky with this design, and here you there's the uh, the fairing going. You'll be able to see the actual uh, the fuel tank itself, plus the single um, the single engine that's going to push this along. But as you can see, we we don't have a, a crazy amount of delta V right now. But there is a dock and port senior on bottom on the bottom of both the uh, the engine and this fuel tank. So. I will enable the crossfeed in a bit and it gives us about, I think it's a bit over 5,000 meters a second of delta V, which, there it is, is ridiculous. That is a lot of delta V and we don't use all of that. I just, I enabled that because we have so much extra fuel that I can burn um, just to make sure that I can make it all the way over there. So this, this unit itself is kind of just a replica of what's already on the spaceport. Uh, plus a probe and some solar panels, batteries and all of that just to get it over there because um, there's no Kerbals on board this obviously. Uh, so here we are just getting that uh, Muna... Mun, Muna? An encounter with the Mun. I don't I don't know what... For the, the actual moon they call it Luna but here it's the Mun so it's the Muna? But I don't know. Either way, here we are getting on the same plane as our spaceport. Um, fairly simple, just kind of go either normal, I believe it's the normal or anti-normal vectors on the descending and ascending nodes gets you uh, to that zero degree offset. And then we're gonna burn retrograde there just to bring our periapsis down and within the same as the, uh, the spaceport itself. If you guys haven't docked or rendezvoused before, please do not do it in Kerbin's orbit, it's very difficult, plus you have an atmosphere in Kerbin, so you cannot really go down lower than, safely I would say, 65,000 meters. Really, the atmosphere doesn't start kicking up until like, I believe it's 50, 50,000 meters, but um, sometimes, especially when learning how to rendezvous or dock, you will kind of not always realize where your apoapsis and periapsis are. Um, so if you're gonna try to teach yourself how to do that, I would absolutely recommend doing it on Minmus or the Mun. Really Minmus, because it's uh, smaller and doesn't have, um, I mean, neither does the Mun. They, they don't really have uh, huge gravity wells, nor do they have an atmosphere, but Minmus is just, it's smaller, it's a bit easier, it doesn't require a whole bunch of Delta V. Uh, anyway, after that tangent, here we are, we finally make it close by to the, spaceport and I am trying to dock. I use this mission to kind of help teach myself how to use RCS a lot better because it's it's one thing that I've lacked on. Um, I've used the Matt Lone lazy method for docking and that's not really realistic for a spaceport. Um, so I hate using it but here we are we're nice and docked and we're gonna transfer all that fuel over and then I built this unit the refuel tank um, not to return to Kerbin, although I'm sure I probably could have. Uh, it's got no parachutes or anything like that, so it would just, it would hit the ocean and explode anyway. So we're gonna undock it from the spaceport like we just did and burn retrograde and we're gonna ram it into the MUN. Which is happening right now. Um, but we've got a bit of a longer video today. This is my longest video yet. So after this explodes, we're gonna go on to my other mission, which is actually a twofold mission. And you'll see it right here. It is my recreation of the space shuttle. Um, so this is the space shuttle that I've built. It's got a couple of differences from the actual space shuttle, uh, the real life space shuttle missions. First off, we already have it tilted to be able to fly through the atmosphere on its back. The real space shuttle took off uh, with the, the orbiter kind of in the upright position 
uh, and then it would have to initiate a roll, pro roll protocol to put it on its back and then after it made it into orbit it would uh, turn again and separate from its its large orange external tank um, my space shuttle here actually is going to take that orange tank with it to the mun um, it's kind of what we use to get that extra bit of delta v out of it uh, but we also have liquid fuel liquid fuel and oxidizer on board of this space shuttle as well as the typical three vector engines you would find on any recreation of a, spot, a space shuttle here in KSP because that's the analogous to the actual space shuttle engines but in place of monopropellant uh, orbital maneuvering engines which would be those two ones uh, two engines that are sat kind of higher than those three vector engines those are typically monopropellant but these ones are actually liquid oxygen as well so there we are dumping off that external tank um, I have to switch through either the vector engines or those orbital maneuvering engines just because the um, center of mass kind of moves depending on what we're doing. But here we are, circularized, circular, ooh, cannot speak. This is my third attempt at a voiceover. Um, so I've, I've kind of been chatting for a hot minute now. Anyway, this is us circularizing and doing the first part of this mission, which is setting up this guy, which is a small uh, relay probe. So it's got a relay satellite on it, which should help us with the issue of when anything in an equatorial orbit of the MUN goes to the backside of the MUN, it loses its ability to contact the KSP. So what I'm going to do is set this up as you can see it right here. I'm going to set it up in a polar orbit, um, quite a bit higher than everything else. Hopefully being able to see it at all times, that's not, that doesn't end up being the case. So I'll have to go back and adjust it or add a second one. Um, but this is to help just solidify contact with the KSP, KSC, sorry, uh, at all times during any missions around the month. So that's the first part of this mission. You also saw in there another unit in the cargo bay of that shuttle, and that is a MUN lander, which so we are also going to be going to the surface of the MUN today. Quite a long video, I know. Um, I got comments on the last one about the spaceport that. People like to have seen me refuel it in that video as well, and I felt bad because that video was already running quite long. And then I kind of just got over myself and realized that people, if, if people like these videos, they'll watch them if they're 5 minutes long or 15 minutes long, as long as it's not worthless content. So here we are giving you a, a longer video to try to make up for that. Uh, here we are getting an encounter with the spaceport, with the shuttle using those uh, orbital maneuvering engines cut to me coming and docking like i said trying to use rcs because in my head cannon having the actual uh, spaceport itself move for a unit that's going to try to dock with it just doesn't sound either very good nor practical um, so here we are all docked and then what we'll do is open up those cargo bays cargo doors even to the cargo bay first we're gonna have a look around i forgot that i did this I think I was trying to locate one of the Kerbals to come out for a uh, EVA, but never ended up doing it. Anyway, um, we're going to get that lander out of the shuttle, docked to the main uh, to the main spaceport, and then put two Kerbals in it to take down to the surface of the Mun. So here we are undocking it. I forgot to put a Kerbal in the actual lander itself, so it's kind of just free floating. So I have to get behind it and get someone in there. Now that I have someone, again, using RCS uh, to get it over there, this is what this was a very good mission for me to try to hone in my RCS skills because it's something that's absolutely been lacking. I've been using the the Matt Lone lazy method for a long time just because it is very easy. And if you're doing two uh, two spaceships, much like the uh, the Gemini mission that I kind of did with the the Cub. Uh, engines that makes sense but something with like a like a spaceport you don't want it whipping around every time someone comes to dock with it so as you can see i'm not the best at it but this does at least help me hone that in i may have 1500 hours in ksp but that doesn't mean i'm a pro at everything yet i'm just all right at a lot of things um but eventually i do get this to dock after it kind of just rimming around the the, the docking port there it is and then finally, we get two Kerbals to come out on um, EVA to get into that unit itself. And then we will be undocking 
getting clear of the spaceport and then shooting retrograde and burning our engines to get onto the surface of the mun. So here we are getting clear of the spaceport, kind of shooting this way. Now that we have good separation, we'll go ahead, turn on those four engines and just burn until we get to the surface. Fairly standard um, MUN mission, very Apollo style. Well, really more SLS style, um, seeing that we have a, a kind of spaceport already in orbit and then this is going to rendezvous and dock with it again. Um, but there was our capture, not capture, the land and burn, and then a couple of little puffs to get us actually on the surface without exploding. Not the softest of landings, but it's, you know, it's fine. And then we're going to do all the science, uh, set up an action group so I can toggle on and off these uh, engines. And then there's the ladder. Found out ladder, ladder, well, we can't speak. Found out later that that ladder does not allow you to re-enter the uh the land are very easy so i end up having to use rcs which is annoying for me because i normally just rely on rcs anyway but this time i was like you know what? i'll be fancy i'll put an extendable ladder and then it just bit me in the butt anyway so here we are doing the last couple of bits of science and then hitting a golf uh, golf ball this is where i got the thumbnail for the video and then we're going to load back up and get ready to take back off um so here's me figuring out that the ladder doesn't let me get in <laughs> So some RCS, getting both of these curbles back in. And then we just have to wait for a good takeoff and counter point. So we, I think we just warp around for a bit. There you go. And I waited until the, the space station was like 60 degree behind us. I don't know. I kind of just made it up. This is where I found out that the reaction wheels on this are OP as hell. So here we are taking off, um, trying to get trying to stay on the same plane uh, so we don't have, you know, drastically hard time trying to dock with the, uh, the spaceport. Um, and then just very typical, we kind of wait until we get into a decent orbit, burn so we're circularized, and then just start burning towards the target, away from the target, blah, 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 and until we get a, an encounter of about a kilometer or less. Uh, if you've on rendezvous and docking before it's very simple if you haven't this is kind of a quick guide on how to do it you just set whatever you're trying to get to as a target and then you'll burn retrograde to kill off speed towards it and then burn uh, towards the target to head towards it uh, like I said very simple simplified if you're looking for a docking tutorial I can make one I'm not the best at it but it's at least like a crash course or there's plenty of other ones on YouTube that'll teach you how to do it but as you can see here we are within 600 meters of the spaceport um, just you know burning towards target and then we just flip it over to retrograde burn away until we're at like 0.1 or 0 0.0 meters a second and then back towards target and then not right now again using my RCS skills um, and then we just dock this guy back to the, uh, the spaceport we don't put it back in the shuttle because this guy's staying here. Um, after I get this docked, as you can see, I have all those baguette tanks on the bottom. It was a pain to get all of those refueled because I had to click on each of them separately. So I just cross cut to us undocking the shuttle to get it back into Kerbin's orbit. Um, I refueled the, the lander, which took a good while and I had to undock that, move it to where I want it to be and then move the shuttle over to the fuel tank to then refuel that. So I just cut that out to save the time because it did take about 10 minutes and I just I wanted to save you guys the, the brutal watch time of that. But here we are getting ourselves onto a course back to Kerbin. Uh, for some reason the maneuver nodes were incorrect. I think it was accounting for me having those vector engines or using all of my engines instead of just the two maneuver engines that I have. Um, but anyway, here we are. We end up getting, I believe, like a 45,000 meter um, encounter. So I actually end up doing three burns through the atmosphere to get captured by Kerbin. Uh, on the very nose of the shuttle here, you'll see I have RCS on there, which is true to the actual uh, shuttle itself. I use that to keep it up at about a 45 degree angle to help A, dissipate the heat, but B, also slow down the craft and ensure a capture. So here's our second burn through the atmosphere, and then we'll get onto a third one. 
shortly. Should crossfade in a second. And then we try to land. I end up landing in water, um, both kind of by choice, but also by chance. I didn't test this craft outside of just getting into orbit. So landing, I didn't realize it was going to have a big issue of pitching down. I think I, I kind of messed up the, uh, the CG versus the aerodynamic center. And so this craft actually would not be able to land very well. But anyway, here we are. Uh, back into the atmosphere, fully captured by Kerbin, on our way down, and you'll see in a moment I'm going to land into the ocean, and uh, unfortunately the uh, the Explorer 1 uh, shuttle that you see here does end up taking some damage, so I'm going to have to rebuild it and, uh, and tweak it again for its next mission, dubbed the Explorer 2 mission. Um, but that's basically the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment. I love hearing from you guys. Uh, if you enjoy these types of videos, please subscribe. Watch my other ones. Um, I love making these KSP videos and just having fun with it, doing different dumb things, um, or just crashing, crashing a shuttle into the ocean. So if you guys enjoy this, please like, subscribe, comment, um, and I appreciate your time, and I'll see you guys later.